Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And I wanted today to come on to show you on page 146 of the new catalogue, we have got water painters. And they are £11.25 for three. And I thought I would do a review comparing them to our aqua painters that we're all used to and we've been using a long time so the first thing that you will notice is they come in a really rather good pack so that you can store them in their pack let me put them in here so they fit quite nicely within a pack like that um, so that you can put them in and store them nicely in one place which is good um, okay so let's have a look at them compared to the aqua painters first of all you'll see that they are actually quite a bit longer so the um, that's the size of the aqua painter and you can see that the barrel is longer and thinner compared to the aqua painter. And you'll notice that there are three instead of two. So that's rather exciting. So let's have a look at them compared to the other. Now, um, on the aqua painter, you literally just have um, the level to fill them up with. Um, the cap just comes off very easily and they unscrew um, anti-clockwise okay so the new ones they have a pen top so you could actually um, you know put them on something if you wanted to like a pen they come straight off like that however they don't they unscrew the opposite way so they unscrew clockwise no they don't they unscrew yes they unscrew clockwise and screw in so be aware of that when you're unscrewing them they are the opposite thread to the aqua painter um let's have a look at the um the actual barrel now you have a little thing on here that says push uh, which is flattened out so it tells you very easily if you're starting out where you push to get the uh, the water coming down through the barrel um, how do they feel compared to the aqua painter let's um, let's take the thinnest aqua painter and the thinnest of the new ones so nib size they are and I hope you can sort of see that let's put my hand in underneath you can see that the nib is on the on the um, the thinnest one is quite a lot smaller. Um, so let's put that one back in there. I haven't used them yet. All I've done is fill them up with water. So the um, the middling sized one is the brush tip is actually longer, and it's thicker than the thinnest one. On the aqua painter and you can see I've used mine a lot um, slightly narrower than the fattest one and the very exciting thing I don't think I'd clean that one up afterwards a little bit of color on there never mind to get that out of the way and on the um, the other one we get three so you have and this is the thing I'm very excited about you have a wide brush um, on this so that's absolutely fantastic now you are going to have to be careful when they're dry putting it back in that you don't splay the um, the bristles so let's have a look at them oh exciting exciting um, I'm just going to get a few little scraps on here and let's use um okay i'm going to use one of our new in colors so i'm going to use the misty moonlight i think 
so let's have some misty moonlight and I'll do my normal just put a little bit on the edge of a ink pad um, we'll put some in the middle and we'll put some down the end so I can choose the different brushes to see the difference okay so exciting let's start with the thinnest one so um, okay there's a thing here that tells you to push so let's push this and see um, okay it's quite um, it's a little bit stiffer than the other one which is quite good the water comes down you can see straight away you've got a droplet of water on here so let's just take some color in on this one and we can see how fine we can get it yeah you can get it really fine and this isn't watercolor paper it's just normal paper but I just wanted to see how it would work and yeah that's that's really nice and and fine on there um, I will clean it off better so that's the finest one and it is really fine so this is the um whoops i have to remember to screw it the opposite way this is the and again press so it's quite good that you've got a thing that says press the water comes down very easily yeah let's just give it another little squeeze yeah here it comes so you've got the water in on here and um I always do it with my finger it's a nice long longer br bristle so if I take the one that I use most of the time in the aqua painters you can actually see that the bristles are a good a good size longer which uh, um, which will make for really good um, coloring so let's um let's just take those ones down here yeah, I really like this um, it's quite nice having the um, the very fine bristle on it because um, it does allow you to um, to do sort of small areas on there and as I say all I'm doing is just trying them out so you can see the comparison but um, I think those are very good and I like the fact that there's a longer bristle on there now let's try this wide one oh very exciting so again there's a push piece on here so you can push it down I'm doing it on my hand first because I want to see how right let's make sure it's tightened up properly because that was coming through on the top so let's just take it down squeeze it through on there because obviously it's a larger larger barrel so it's got to come down through on there so um, I need to make sure it's tight okay so let's take that out on here and take some color on this one and then you should be able to do oh yes look at that now that's going to be absolutely lovely we can take have I got a piece of right I'm going to take a piece and as I say I'm not using watercolor paper at all let's just get a little bit more water down on here so push piece so let's do it on the push push it down carefully so the water comes through because obviously it's a larger a larger area so it's going to take a little bit more to come down through onto those bristles but hopefully that yes that's come down more so let's take this up load up the brush and oh yes really like that and this is just normal card nothing special at all um, I do need to get a little bit more water on here so because it's bigger it will take a little bit more um, you need to load your brush up a little bit more often but you can see on this let's take it a little bit darker you can do some really lovely color tones in fact you can bleed tone on tone let's have a let's have a little bit of this uh, whoops sorry wiggling the camera I'm just going to take a little bit of the magenta madness on here and um, very carefully just take a little piece without cleaning it off for you just on here so let's just take a little bit of that um, 
and again would be perfect on watercolour paper but I do like to use things on both so I'm just going to take a little bit of that and we'll just see if we can yes look at that this is going to be absolutely amazing because you can blend in those colours beautifully um, you do need to add because it's such a wide brush you are going to need to add some more water in there than you would on the the narrower ones so I'm just mixing those colors in so we've got a bit of purple in there but yeah absolutely love that I think that's going to be perfect now let's see for cleaning off the brush um use my simply chamois on here and see if I can get all of that color out so I'm just going to clean it up it probably will stain a little bit but then my old one did um, quite a bit but I think I think particularly with the big brush after you've used it I would um, I would run it under the tap so I'm going to go and run it under the tap very quickly in the kitchen and see if I can get that color off so bear with me two seconds amuse yourself Right, so I've just run it under the tap for a few seconds um, and I think I will probably do that with it because it's a big one but you can see that it has now come out let me just dry it off a little bit because I've got wet hands um, you can see that it's now come out um, reasonably well and I think now it will be easier I'm just going to reshape that bristle before I put it back into its case and you need to be quite careful because otherwise the um, the bristles will will um, will splay and you don't really want that. But I love the fact that they store really well in here. Um, I'm really impressed because the price point is a lot lower, which is fantastic. And uh, um, as I say, I'm going to give this one another good clean because there's still a little bit of colour on there. Um, but very very impressed I like the fact that as I say that they are compared to the aqua painters which we've all been using for a long time these water painters are in my opinion going to be very good it's only my first try but I thought I would come on and show you the difference and comparison of what we're used to with something new so thank you so much for watching me do look forward to seeing you again as always stay safe and stay well and be kind bye bye